हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम कमल किशोर कोहली फ्रॉम सरस्वती विद्यापीठ रेजिडेंशियल स्कूल शिवपुरी एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल एंड आई होप दैट यू विल बी सो हेल्दी एंड फ्री फ्रॉम एनी डिसीजेस एंड देयर विल बी नो प्रॉब्लम यू विल बी हैप्पी एंड योर फैमिली आल्सो वेल एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट क्लॉज which class adverb clause well so today we will understand and discuss about adverb clause first of all we should try to understand the meaning of adverb adverb means means word which qualifies verb word that qualifies verb is called verb adverb well so this means uh, adverb clause we are talking about adverb clause we will discuss about this thing well so This is the our liability. This is compulsory to understand the fact and meaning of this word, because adverb means qualifying verb, words means words that qualifies verb. For example, I am explaining about this verb, adverb, not clause. Okay, after some time I will explain adverb clause. So C is. working and smilingly so she is working and smilingly smilingly is adverb why because this word is qualifying working here quite uh, smilingly very you can say uh, so happily you can say in other words she is working here so happily so next word you can say they are performing they are performingly they are performing so clearly clearly they are performing clearly other words you can this is also adverb she is writing she is writing fast she is writing fast this is also adverb because this is qualifying writing well so i am explaining you so clearly i am teaching you apparently well i am teaching you so especially well so these all the mostly you can find lot of the verbs in which or verbs in which at the end of the word adding ly clearly smilingly uh you can say other words also fastly and uh, bravely you know so many words okay so you can find but we are talking today about clauses because these all the sentences i explained you i explained you these uh, examples to explain you the meaning of adverb only but i am going to explain you adverb clause what is the meaning of adverb clause means similarly for example we explained about a verb but that qualifies verb uh, similarly kind of sentence 
और क्लॉज दैट क्वालिफाइज वर्ब वन वोल सेंटेंस इज क्वालिफाइंग वर्ब दैट इज कॉल्ड एड वर्ब क्लॉज फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड क्लियरली मीन्स सेंटेंस और क्लॉज क्लॉज दैट क्वालिफाइज वर्ब इज कॉल्ड एड वर्ब क्लॉज वेल यू कैन टेक एन एग्जाम्पल वेल I was reading when I was reading I was reading when they arrived well so I was reading when they arrived so arrived means you can say that this whole sentence this means this sent uh, means a clause you can say that in other words this is a whole clause is uh, describing verb reading means what we uh, what he was doing he was reading well so it is also called the uh, adverb clause well now come to the next example If you work hard, you will pass. So this is also, if you work hard, you will pass. So this is you can say conditional adverb clause because there is a condition or case of wait. So if you work hard, you will pass. so this sentence is qualifying the verb you will pass well so this whole sentence is qualifying about verb well so now come to the next so this is called add verb clause well next example also you can take as soon as as soon as the police as soon as the police arrives the thief ran away ran away it means means this sentence is showing About the running of thief means thief ran away when police arrived there. So means this sentence is showing the time. Means this whole sentence is qualifying this verb run. Okay. So this is called adverb clause. You understand? If you have any doubt, you can ask me without hesitation. If you have, well, so I always try my best to explain you. If you have any problem, any uh, any anxiety in your brain, you can express before me. I will try to solve your problem always, because I am committed to solve your problem. Well, so try to understand. It is not a short pickle. It is so simple thing if you understand clearly, well. So because there is no any impossible thing in the world. If you try, if you pay attention to our any problem, you can be able to solve that problem. You can solve very easily, well. So keep watching, keep watching all this. So you will understand. Now come to the next example. You will understand with the help of the next example.
means your concept will be so clear. They were dancing. They were dancing when I when I reached there. This means this sentence. This is dancing. So this is clause. Which clause? Adverb clause. Why? Because this whole sentence is qualifying dancing. What he was doing there? What are you doing? You are dancing. So this is dancing is called. So this sentence is called or this clause is called adverb clause. Well, I hope that you will have clear concept in your brain. There will be no doubt. I think. Well, so it is very simple to understand. There are so many kinds of adverb clause also. For example, time. Yeah, adverb clause of time. Adverb clause of time. For example, this is adverb clause of time. Okay. Next example also I can see. You see, the doctor. Had arrived after the patient died. So this you can say this example. This is also showing a time. Why the doctor had arrived? This is an principal clause. You can say. Or man clause after the patient died. This is adverb clause because the whole sentence is explaining or describing or qualifying ai. This is verb. So this is called adverb clause. Well, clear concept. If you have any problem, have you any problem? If you have, I will try for. Well, now come to the next example also. Don't move from here until I. Order you. So this is also an example of adverb clause. So you can see here clearly. Don't move from here. Don't move from here means no need to go anywhere without order, without permission of me. I it means well. So don't move. Don't go anywhere. Don't move from here until I order you. So this sentence is saying about or saying about move. Move is work. So this this whole sentence is qualifying or showing and explaining about move. So this sentence is called adverb clause. Well, clear concept. If you have any problem, you can write in a comment box. I will see. I will watch your problem. I will study your problem. Then I will try to solve your problem. If you have, really. Well, so it is nice for you. It is very nice explanation of adverb clause and very simple thing you can see. Well. If you pay attention, if you struggle, you can understand very easily. Because there is no any difficulty in this clause, so simple clause. Well, so it is a homework for you. Read regularly books. 
so many books are read magazines also and underline all the adverb clause also or other any all the clause you can underline and you can name them well so easily it will be so nice practice for you it is a nice practice of you so without reading books and without reading magazines how can you possible to understand the uh, concept of clause so it is clear only when if you study well so you study more and you will understand more and more things and more things will be so clear if you under, uh, read clearly if you read and study more and more and deeply so your concept will be so clear there will be no doubt i hope that thing well so i hope that there will be no concept, no any doubt in your brain and i hope that you will have understood the concept of adverb clause and other things also and keep on watching my channel regularly watch my channel so that you will understand spoken english language also because i am not using hindi why because if you listen hindi how can you possible to understand and uh, how can you possible to learn to speak english language so without listening listening is a foundation of uh, learning language or any other things also so listening 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 more listening the native speakers or indians also if you listen carefully attentively and powerfully you will be a great speaker also of english language thank you to watch this video